What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to upload your application to the App Store using Xcode. Before we start, make sure your project builds and runs clearly in Xcode. Test it in the iOS simulator and, if possible, on a physical device to catch any signing or entitlement issues early. Also, confirm that your Apple Developer Program membership is active and that you're signed in with the correct Apple ID. In Xcode, click Xcode in the top left menu and open Settings. Go to the Accounts tab, add your Apple ID if it's not already there and select your team. Click Manage Certificates and ensure you have an Apple Distribution Certificate available. If you don't see it, create one here so Xcode can sign release builds correctly. Close Settings and select your app target in the Project Navigator. Open the Signing and Capabilities tab. Set Team to your Apple ID team, enable Automatically Manage Signing and confirm that the bundle identifier is unique to your app. If you see a conflict, slightly modify the identifier so it does not match any existing app in your account. Switch to the General tab. Verify that the bundle identifier matches what you set under Signing and Capabilities. Choose the correct app category and set a concise display name. This is the label that appears under the app icon on users' devices and can differ from the app store name and select the minimum deployment iOS version you intend to support. If you are resubmitting, increment your version and or build number so that the upload is accepted. Next, confirm your app icon configuration. In App Icons, make sure the app icon is set to App Icon. In the Project Navigator, open the Assets Catalog and select App Icon. Drag and drop square 1024 by 1024 PNG files without rounded corners into the appropriate placeholders. Use any appearance for your standard icon and optionally provide dark and tinted variants if you want to support those system appearances. If Xcode shows warnings about missing icon sizes, address them before proceeding. With signing and assets complete, it's time to archive. In the top menu, choose Product, Archive. Xcode will build a release archive. This can take a few moments. When the organizer window opens in your archive, click Validate App. Resolve any issues that appear. Typical ones include a mismatched provisioning, missing icons, or an invalid bundle identifier. Once validation succeeds, click Distribute App. Choose App Store Connect and proceed with Upload. Keep the defaults unless you know you need changes and then complete the upload. Depending on your project size and connection, this may take a short while. After the upload, open up your browser and go to appstoreconnect.apple.com. Sign in with the same Apple ID that you used in Xcode. Click Apps and then select the app you're publishing. If this is your first release of this app, make sure the App Store listing exists with the correct platform, name, primary language, bundle ID and SKU. In the App Store listing, Complete the metadata for your new version. Provide your app's name and subtitle, a clear and helpful description and comma-separated keywords. Add your support URL and optionally a marketing URL if you have a landing page. Write a short promotional text that highlights what's new or unique. This can be updated without a full app release. Upload your preview screenshots. You can include up to 10 per device size. Be sure to provide images for each required device class your app supports. For example, 6.7-inch and 6.1-inch iPhones and iPad sizes if your app is universal. Open the App Information section and verify your bundle ID and categories. Then complete the Age Rating Questionnaire by answering questions about features such as parental controls, web access, user-generated content, medical or wellness content, sexual or violent content, chance-based activities, and whether the app is directed to children. Answer honestly. The rating shown to users depends on this. Go to App Privacy, paste your privacy policy URL, and accurately disclose data collection practices. If you don't collect any data at all, you can indicate that. But be precise. Many apps at least transmit crash logs or analytics to third-party SDKs. Save your changes for each localization your app supports. Next, open Pricing and Availability. Choose your price tier, or free if applicable, and confirm availability regions. Apply the price to all countries or only a selection, depending on your distribution strategy. 
Return to your version's Prepare for Submission page. Click Add Build and select the build you just uploaded. If you cannot see it yet, refresh the page. Build processing can take a few minutes after upload. When the build appears, select it and click Done. Next to Missing Compliance, click Manage. Complete the Encryption Compliance Questionnaire. If your app does not implement or use encryption beyond standard system frameworks and you do not encrypt or store user data yourself, you can choose the option that indicates none of the listed algorithms apply. Save your selection. Provide reviewer contact information, including a phone number and email, and add notes for the reviewer. This is a great place to include demo account credentials, special steps to access features, or anything that speeds up review. If your app uses in-app purchases or subscriptions, configure them in the In-App Purchases section. Create each product with a unique product ID. Choose the type, whether consumable, non-consumable, auto-renewable subscription, and so on. Set localized display names and descriptions. Assign pricing, and upload a review screenshot for each product. Make sure to submit the in-app purchases for review so Apple can approve them alongside your app. Otherwise, review will be blocked. Double check all localizations. At the top right of the page, switch languages to provide localized metadata a name, subtitle, description, keywords, screenshots, and privacy policy links where applicable. Note that some countries require additional fields. For example, simplified Chinese often requires a marketing URL. Review the entire submission checklist. When every section is marked complete and your build is attached, Click Add for Review, and then click Submit to App Review. If anything is missing, App Store Connect will prompt you to fix before submission. You can monitor the status of your build and address any feedback Apple provides during the review process. If the archive or upload process fails in Xcode, common fixes include incrementing the build number, cleaning the build folder, ensuring automatic signing is enabled, confirming that the bundle identifier matches exactly, and verifying that your distribution certificate and provisioning profile are valid. For missing screenshots or metadata errors in App Store Connect, revisit the relevant section, make the change and save before submitting. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.